sorry okay so let's start today's session uh, today uh, we will move on from sql to little bit of statistical portion in data analyst so there is a separate topic statistical portion but in numpy there are also some uh, statistical topic little bit that is uh, for the distribution part that will also included into statistics portion. So before statistical analysis or before statistics part in analysis, I just want to uh, inform all of you that there is a little bit of mathematical things, okay? Because data analytics is more than technical than mathematical, okay? So there are little bit of more mathematical things will be there. And inside the mathematical things, I think you will be very much clear how NumPy will be added. NumPy will help in the mathematical terms. Okay. Our first topic today is NumPy random. So what is NumPy random? Or in a short form, you can tell that uh, random number. What is a random number? So... In uh, such a normal way, when we mention about the random number, random number means whenever we suppose to suggest any kind of uh, number. Suppose two people are there, one asked and another, just tell me a random number. So he will just tell whatever, it will be 2, 3, 4, 21, 31, 33, whatever number it will be. Make sure the number will be different every time. In between when, uh, suppose you tell 20, then 22, then again 20, then again 22, then again 23, then again 20, 22, 23. So there are suppose something sequence, something algorithm will work in type of these things. So when num random number will uh, mentioned make sure that every time number should be different okay or there will be no uh, algorithm or no theory bit among the rule and random number obviously cannot be predicted logically so this is a very much about the introduction about random number so why random number? Because in the uh, NumPy module, Python NumPy module, there are supposed to be things, uh, random integer, random float, then uh, random mat, uh, array. So that's why we are mentioning these things. So random number does not mean a different number. Uh, it means different number every time. Okay, different number every time cannot be predicted logically, predicted logically. So suppose uh, 20 there, 22 there, then again you say 20, then again 22, then again 23, then again 20. So suppose there will be some uh, prediction, see? Okay. Then again add, then again add. So this type of things happen. Inside the random number, there are two types of random numbers. One is pseudo random and another one is two random. What is the pseudo random? Whenever, uh, suppose there will be something generated in a algorithm process. Okay. Uh, after this theory portion, when you when we discuss about rand int, rand this type of uh, function in NumPy, you see this funs this type of function are some logic inside. Obviously, they will choose some random numbers, but there are some logic, there are some algorithm. On the basis of that, they will collect the number or collect the algorithm and. On the basis of that algorithm, they will collect the number. So, uh, when the random number is generated, 
through a algorithm generation okay so then it is called pseudo random number when the number or random number generated through a algorithm generation that's are called pseudo random number if there is a program to generate that such type of number it can be predicted okay so that means this type of suppose you are uh, there something a array present two four five six seven and you ask to pick up some random numbers among this among this five they will pick up any of the numbers in time but it's not like too random it will be predicted now that whatever the number it will pick it will pick the uh, by the algorithm it may be two it may be four maybe five maybe six maybe seven not more than seven or not uh, outside these five numbers so that is some type of predictable so this is not truly random okay so you can see that this is the pseudo random you can tell also so random numbers generated through a algorithm generation are called pseudo random numbers okay so what are the numbers those are called the true random numbers whenever in order to generate a truly random number on our computer on our system we need to get the data okay for find out the true random number we have to uh, collect the data from the outside source that is the raw data and this outside source is generally our keystrokes can be mouse movement data on network okay so like you suppose collect one uh, so long csv files or anything database file and then you can choose any random number just pick up the random id employee id so that will you can say true random because there are no such type of algorithm you are generated but if there will be some system or some algorithm mentioned and you are asked to uh, pick out some random number it will not like the true truly random because it always suppose there will be some type of predictable five c uh, seven six four two so this type of things already uh, present in that array first one dimensional array and it is called pseudo random number so I think everyone clear about what is a random number and what is a pseudo random, what is a true random number. Okay. So, but uh, whenever we use in any module portion, that things is obviously pseudo random, not truly random number. Okay. Now generate random number using NumPy. How we can use this? NumPy offers the random module to work with random uh, numbers. So there is a module that name random and it will help us to work with random number. Let's start with generate a random integer from 0 to 100. So you have to be mentioned how much the length or which source of natural source of data you have to be mentioned pick out a, any type of random because see you already mentioned 0 to 100 so there is some predictable that it's nothing but uh, exceed 100 whatever it picks whatever it number picks there will be some algorithm inside obviously this module this random module inside numpy module this thing obviously have some little bit of micro algorithm or micro uh, organization that how it will pick up the random things. Okay. So uh, that thing will be very much careful about how it will be picked up for that particular number. Okay. So, uh, just a second.
Okay. So uh, the thing from NumPy input random. If you want, you can do this also. Import random from NumPy. If in your system NumPy is installed as previous, okay, you can do, you can use it. So after that, x is equal to any normal variable, any variable you can choose. It can be your name, it can be your um, whatever name picked up, your nickname, your short name, whatever things. This is a random variable things. Okay. Then the simply function look like random dot rand int. And please put up the value length or length value. And then print x. Everyone, please try. Then uh, you can unmute yourself and tell me, or you can write down in the chat box which random number you get. Okay, so this is the function, use of random function uh, that we use for find out random integer value, random integer value for a given uh, data range, you can say. Import random from NumPy or you can write whatever it's suitable for you from NumPy import random. Okay, now tell me from your side, which random number, 15. Okay, so Venkatesh, tell 15. Okay, anyone? Okay, 92. Anyone? Anjali said 20. So, uh, whenever you uh, do this, you just check most of the time, you will find a little bit of uh, even number. Not, not even, it will be non-prime number. Okay. Whenever you see, because if I will run this, C8, okay, C59. Prime. This is non prime. See, non prime. Non prime. Non prime. Non prime. Non prime. So, what do you think? So, this is the logic that, as, as I already told, whenever you suppose this type of things you want to pick up from a data range or inside your data, inside your module. So, most of the time, there suppose a little bit of uh, drawback. See, this is a function we can, uh, this is algorithm or this is a logic we already get. Whenever we do this of random dot random in, in 100, if most of the time, 
I'm not telling that every time. I'm not telling most of the time it will be non-prime number. Okay. So now the next part. If I want to generate, if I want to generate float number, okay, between zero and one, if I want to generate any random float, here random dot random hundred, but for integer purpose, but for float purpose, you just supposed to be write simple thing like uh, x. Okay, I'm not writing again from numpy into random. Okay, I'm just writing x is equal to random dot rand and then print x. So that means it will uh, give us the exact random numbers between 0 and 1. And the type of numbers are float value, 0 point something. Okay. So this is one type of method, how you can find it. So first of all, we are discussing about random numbers. Then we are starting discussing about pseudo random number, true random number, how we can generate random number using NumPy module, random module, how we can generate float module, uh, float number and integer number. Write down notes, then I'm giving you two minutes, then we will move on next portion. Whenever, if any portion you have to be uh, scroll up or scroll down, you can mention no issue. Sir? Yes. Sir, what is the difference between random and a uniform? I think uniform will also be printed the float number. Yes, obviously uniform will print the float number. But uh, in NumPy module, Okay, most of the time you will see that random dot rand this this thing is mostly used because there are so much way to print it. Okay. Okay. I'm giving all of you the attendance seat one by one. Please fill it up.
uh, sorry there is a call from management okay now uh, we will mostly move on okay please return the just a second uniform the algorithm used in the random number select on input time Each. uh what mabel what do you sir can you please go back up for a moment to random float oh okay okay just a second guys just a second random float okay now now you can please take Hello, sir. Yes, hello. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, can you share share this document in chat box, sir? Okay, okay. I will share after the class. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, I will share the document. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. So now, uh, the next part is uh, moving on to the fl after floating, moving on to the array creation. Okay. So what? we can uh, create the array in numpy we obviously we already know we work with arrays and we can use two methods from the above example to make random arrays as we do for float as we do for integer so same type we will mention to create some random arrays but what is the mostly new thing is or what is the change of it that is a little bit of like how we can uh, want to present or presentation. Okay. So from NumPy import random. Okay. Now x is equal to random dot rand int hundred comma size is equal to five so with the mentioning the length size we have to mention the size actual size how many elements are there? How many elements are there? Size means how many elements will be present in our 1D array. Okay. How many elements will be present in our 1D array? So size, size means this. Now if we just simply print x, we will find out these things. 32, 56, 64, 71, 11 random elements from the range 0 to 100 will create the 1d array where only five elements will be picked randomly because size is mentioned five so how we can create 1d array okay now how we can create 2d array simple use of uh, using integer okay using integer how we can create 2d array x is equal to random dot rand int comma 100 then size will be mentioned into 2D form means how many rows uh, and columns will be there. Number first will be number of rows and second will be number of columns. Okay. Then print X. This is for 2D 
integer array okay and this is for 1d integer array so how random function and rand function uh, not rand it's used for uh, float how random function will be used for making 1d array and 2d array okay moving on next part the thing is now float already you see the previous one when we use the rand function that is used for float so for float how we can create how we can create random values picked up random values and create one d array x is equal to random dot rand just mention 5 no size nothing just mention 5 and then simply print x it will take values between 0 and 1 and print out 5 random or picked up 5 random floating values create 1d array where only 5 element present 1d float array okay now the next part how there will be size okay or 2d array x is equal to random dot rand then first mention the row size or row number then column number then print x x is equal to random dot rand 5 print x x is equal to random dot rand 3 comma 5 print x so this is 2d float array 2d float array 1d float array 2d float array 1d integer array 2d integer array so in this way we can pick up any of the random number what it may be float it may be integer and it will create some one dimensional array and some two dimensional array okay please do it Uh, sir, could you run uh, uh, 1D5 array? 1D, 1D float array. Float array. Okay. Just a second.
uh, thing it will be visible. Okay. So zero point zero four five one zero two zero four zero point two six eight zero two six four zero point nine nine zero point seven four one zero point nine seven seven four D. These things are there. I'm getting errors, so that's okay. Error. Okay, uh, yeah. you already write down from NumPy input random. Yes, yeah, sir. Just a second, I'm seeing your screen. Just sharing your screen. Cannot input. Right. Uh, just a second. There is a. I think there is a space. Space. Yes. Space. Limit space. Now run. No. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, so uh, random integer 1D, random integer 2D, random float 1D, random float 2D, done. 3 comma 5 is mentioned as the row number and the column number. Now, next part. <laughs> so what? I am already discussed. Now next portion is another function that is choice. C H O I A C choice. Choice function allows you to generate a random value based on an array of values. Whatever I told you before. Three, five, seven, nine. There is a 1D array. So for random function, then simply ran and ran int. It will give you output for a given range, frequent, uh, not frequently, and just random, you can get a number. But when you given, suppose a range, when you given a sort of value or series of value, then how can we pick it up? For that, the function or the method, you can say choice. Simply, you have to write from numpy import random. Then x is equal to random dot choice okay and just mentioned in parenthesis the series 1d series or 1d array you can say print x let's check see it will pick 9 see now five, I think it will be seven again. Yes. Then three. Yes. So actually, uh, there is a sort of logic. Uh, what I am finding here, it will first start any of the number, whether it will be three, five, seven or nine. Then it will decrease by two. Okay. I mean two step, nine, then five. Then it will increase by again two. Okay. Then the sort of the list list number, or you can say the number that is left, it will find out. So in this way, I just I am just finding what type of algorithm or logic inside there when this method or this function, this type of module 
will search a random number from a given series. So it's nothing mean, nothing have any meaning. I'm just discussing you. So in this way, we have using or we can using choice function. That choice function must be find out a perfect random number from a given sequence of 1D array. So the function name is choice, C-H-O-I-C-E. Now, uh, choice can be uh, used for like uh, creating array means suppose there will be already present 1D array and using this 1D array, you asked that for pick up random numbers from that given series of 1D array and make it in a 2D array. Okay. So here, suppose these things are we given 3, 5, 7, 9. This is 1D array. Normal numbers are there. So, choice function will pick up any random numbers from this series or from this 1D array and convert it into 2D array. Okay. Convert it into 2D array. There is a given series of 1D number. This function picked up any random numbers from that and it will create, if I mention some sort of uh, how we can get the sort of information and sort of like methods, how we can create, then it will create a normal 2D number. Okay. So for that, let's x is equal to random dot choice and mention 3, 5, 7, 9. Okay. Comma. Size is equal to 3, comma, 5. Okay. We mentioning the size 3, comma, 5. 4, 3 is the row number, 5 is the column number. Then print x. It will collect random numbers from this given series and make it into this type of 2D array. Let's run it. C. If we choose, suppose there will be 4 row number. Uh, Obviously, four column number. And what will be happen? C. They just picked up random stuff from that given series and it will print it. So, this is called choice function. Now, please take a note. Choice function for making 1D uh, array. Choice function for making given 1D array series and convert it into 2D array series or making 2D array. These two examples I am giving. Given. Please write down, then we will move on for the next. Sir, yes. Uh, sir, I have one doubt. Uh, yes. sir, for float values, uh, mm -hmm. uh, it will use between uh, zero and one. Uh, yes, yes. It will show the okay, sir. Yes. 
okay okay uh sir uh, if we want to get the values for uh, for example uh, to uh, between the values two and three means uh, we can't use a float or, yes 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 uh yes we can use also and it will be different little bit different okay. i will discuss okay okay sir okay sir thank you sir.
Hmm. Okay, so now comes on the data distribution, or you can say the first step of statistical portion in num time. So there will be some little bit of query or questions in your head. What is this topic? This random data distribution. I think you will all hear about this term. Everyone uh, or some of you hear about these terms, binomial distribution, chi-square distribution, logical distribution. Anyone hear about? Yes, sir. So we are all discussing about these things. This is the starting of distribution, random number, then distribution, then the type of distribution I will discuss. 5 to 6 distribution, binomial, chi square, logical, U, 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 Z. So there are some things like that. Okay. So now random data distribution. So what is the random data distribution? So how many types of values or you can say the possible values and how often it will be occurring each diameter or each random portion that such lists are important when working with our statistical part or you can say in data science or higher data analytics. The random module offers methods that returns randomly generated data distribution. So data distribution means whenever we mention a list or something like a series of arrays, how many possible values will be there and how Often each value occurs. Suppose there will be three, five, seven, nine. How three will be present in a in upcoming created list or array? In seven, how seven will be present in upcoming array? There suppose some probability will be there. Okay, so this is called data distribution. Now random distribution means. Random distribution is a set of random numbers that follows probability density function. Little bit of some difficult terms will be there because all are related to mathematical terms. So probability distribution function. And there is, I already mentioned you, there is little bit of more theoretical portion. Okay. So random distribution, a random distribution is a set of random numbers that follows uh, a certain probability density function. So what will be a probability density function? Probability density function describes continuous probability of all values in an array. Means, suppose there will be 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, odd numbers present there. And we will create something like how many types of 3 will be present? How many types of 5 will be present? How many types of 7 will be present? Or how many types of 9 will be present? 11 will be present, 13 will be present in newly created array. Obviously, the size of the array you have to be mentioned. It can be 50 or it can be 70, whatever, 100, whatever the size. Whenever you mentioned the size, according to your size and probability density function means, these are the element and how much or which number of times they are present in such newly created array. This is called probability density function. In a single line, a function that describes a continuous probability that is called probability of all values in an specific array. That is called probability density function. 
we can generate random numbers based on defined probabilities using the choice method of the random module. The choice method allows us to specify the probability for each value. The choice method allows us to specify the probability for each value. Okay. The probability is set by a number between 0 and 1, where 0 means that will uh, never occur and 1 means that will always occur. Always occur. Can anyone tell me why probability density function of each value or probability is set of a number between 0 and 1? Why? Why not more than 1? Can anyone tell me why it is not more than one? It is already discussed in mathematics in your college or little bit of HS portion. I think there will be HS. It will give us the probability of zero and one good probability. No, not like good probability, but why? Only zero and one means between 0 and 1. Why it is not exceeding? 0 means never occur. 1 means always occur. That is the normal meaning. But why always set to be between 0 and 1? Uh, fa fraction of a fixed denominator, uh, what you tell, it's like uh, it's like a normal because I seen a naked eye and what I realize. So that's that's type of answer. Because probability is represented as a fraction of a fixed denominator. So that is that type of answer. The exact answer would be like whenever you do okay, probability of this type of four, five, six, whatever number will be there. The sum of all probability numbers should be 1. This is the very much important thing. Whenever you go for advanced statistics, this will be must remind. The sum of all probability numbers should be 0. Now, let's revise again. Random data distribution. So, little bit of theoretical part, please listen attentively. Random data distribution. So, what is a data distribution? Data distribution is a list of all possible values and how often each value occurs. There is a set of numbers. How these numbers will appear to create a list or create an array and the size is present already mentioned how it will occurs each value that is called uh, data distribution in that thing and such lists are important when working with statistics because whenever you have to work with statistics you have to be have the report that this value will be present there Okay, so this value is not even present there, but it's supposed to be uh, seems it is presented. That means the data is wrong. The random modules offer methods to return randomly generated data distribution. Now the random distribution. Random distribution means set of number that follows the probability distribution, sorry, density function, probability density function. What is the probability density function? how or a function that describes continuous probability continuous probability please mention a function that describe probability density function is a function that describe a continuous probability that is probability of all values that will be present in an array it is called continuous probability density function. 
Now the probability is set by a number between 0 and 1 because the sum of the all probability probabilities is 1. The number, the probability is 0 means the number will never occur. Probability 1 means the number will be occur always. There will be choice method that allows us to specify the probability for each value. So this is suppose the theoretical portion, little bit of brief introduction about probability density function. Now moving on to the next. Please very much carefully see this example. Okay. See very carefully. There is numbers three, five, seven, nine. We have to generate one D array. Okay. Containing hundred values where each value has to be three, five, seven, nine. Precondition. We have to, we have to have the we have to create 1D array. The array will containing 100 values. Each value has to be between 3, 5, 7 or 9. Not more than that. Not left behind or not outside of this series 3, 5, 7, 9. Now we have set some types of probability. Please. Probability of 3 is set 0 0.1. Probability of 5 set 0 0.4. Probability of 7 set 0 0.5. Probability of 9 is set 0 0.5. Three. Now tell me, right or wrong? Tell me from your side, this is right or wrong? This is absolutely wrong. Why wrong? Uh, As well, yes, uh, because uh, uh, the total will be come one whole number yes. value, but it is not coming. Yes, the yes. probability of the all the sum of the probabilities must be one. So if this is three, three, then rest of the thing is seven. So these three will be some 7 or if this will be something uh, 1 already 1 0 0.5 0 0.4 0 0.1 so this is be 0 okay so keep in mind that all the sum of the probabilities of given sequence of series of numbers that will occurs for a particular or mentioned 1 d array 2 d array obviously some of the probabilities will be 1 so P9 is equal to 0. Now probability of 3 means me, probability of 3 set to be 0 0.1 means the continuous probability of 3 that will appear in our newly formed 1D array is 1. Listen again. Probability of 3 is equal to 0 0.1 means number 3 probability continuous probability of the num number 3 in our newly created array means this array is 1. C. Then Next topic is probability of 5, 0 0.4. It will not exceeding 
not exceeding more than 4, 5, 6, okay, just 0 0.4. Probability of 7 is equal to 0 0.5. Probability of 9 is equal to 0. You cannot find any 9 value that way in the newly created array. And whenever you do this, it will change randomly. There are obviously something drawback also present here. But as this is a probability function, okay, or this is the probability topic. But most of the time, the probability uh, density function, as I mentioned, and the sum of this number, this four number probability is one. And I set it to one, four, five, zero. One, four, five, zero. So these four random numbers or series of arrays, it will create 1D array where 100 values present. Each values has to be 3579. 3579. If you change like See. And it will obviously change randomly. See. P5 is equal to 4. Set to be 4. Let's check. Okay. So there is no 5 value. Okay. Sorry. 7 value. There is no 7 value present. P3 is there. 3 is there. 5 is there. 9 is there. No 7 value present. If I... Again, Hello, sir. Yes. Sorry for the interruption, sir. My laptop battery is low. Can I leave, sir? I've been facing the power issue. Okay, you can leave. I uh, will send it. Yeah, thank you, sir. Okay, so in this way, if you just by your side, okay, select any of the number or you can say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Set a probability of 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 5. Okay. So say this is 0 0.1, this is 0 0.1. 0 0.3 which are points sharp this will be probabilities that is set and size you can 70 or 50 whatever 70 or 50 not 70 by 50 okay can choose any of the size 70 or 50 now create let's try that here i think all values will be present or if you choose uh, 10 will be 0 0.0 and 15 will be 0 0.3 now see 10 will not be present in your uh, newly created array Hello, sir. Yes. Here, how many numbers are created, sir? How many? Num I mean, random numbers are created from 3 to 9. But how many are created? Uh, size, size, this total number is 100. That I mentioned here, size. Whatever you mentioned, size, it will create. Okay, sir. That is the size work. You just mention size and this, that number of will be taken from that. You can also create the uh, 2D array, okay. So for 2D array, you have to mention like 2, 3, how many mean size here, 100, 0, 0, and that portion you just mention 2, 3, 2 row, 3 column, 5 row, 6 column, that way you can create also. 
let's okay, check sir, I understand. yes But if you want to increase it, sir. Yes. Uh, sir, if we didn't give the uh probability, means uh, how it is working, sir? How it it will, it will take okay. uh. Okay. How it is working, right? Okay. Yes, See. So first of all, uh, continuous probability density in the first line, see, there are any no drawback, okay, just perfectly 0 0.1. Any continuous number three more than one, you can find here. Can no, find. No. Same as for five. See, three, one, one. One, 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 two, two, one, one. For uh, oh yeah, seven is zero. Seven is zero, so no seven present here. Okay. Nine is zero point five. Two, one, 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 two, one, one, two, one. But you can also find, also get some drawback. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see here. Why it is uh, showing drawbacks like that? Because we are selecting random numbers from the series, from the sets. If we not mentioning these things, simply just mentioning 100. Zero, zero. They are totally drawback we can find. Just remind that whenever we mention the density function, actually how many times this number will appear in our 1D array. It will be very much clear in 2D array. See, 3. Because 1D array, which is the set of the things they will actually use, it can't be mentioned, but for the 2D array, you can see very much carefully. See, 6,5 is our size. 3, more than 3 in a second line. In this line, 2 also there. In this row, 2 also there. But first line, you can find 3 also, one time. Second time, 3. There is no 3 present. No 3 present in, in the fourth line, I think. Yes. Also, there is 3, but there is no 3 present. 9, not more than 5, 4, 3, 1, 1, 1, but not 7, any of the 7 number is present here. How many times of your number will be present in the newly formed array? They will predict, they will predict probability of the things, how it will be appear. Not the certain or exact answer. They will predict how much or which number of times they can be uh, appear on the newly formed array. Clear, Latri? Yes, sir. It uh, will sir? be uh, yes. Uh, if we change the numbers of selection uh, choice, uh, like uh, yes, yes, in, in, uh, in any of the numbers. 
and how to we uh, note the probability value of zero uh, point four? It will change the value of it also. Yes, I I just uh, normally I am just selecting because there is no particular anything rule that to select zero point one to select zero point four zero point zero zero point five whatever you select probability. But keep in mind. There will be numbers of series means 3, 5, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All the probabilities of that 4, 5, 7, whatever numbers you select must be 1. Then you can select whatever means you can select 3 also as 0 0.4. 5 also can 0 0.2. Means randomly it will present uh, maximum number of 3 present in a 2D array. In a continuous time will be four. It can be present one, two, three times, four times, but most of the time it will not exceeding four. So these things mean the set of probabilities upon you or whoever given to you this type of task, they will set you. Okay. Yes. Yes, uh, yes. So that's it. That's upon you. Means uh, just remind that the total will be must be one. Total must be one. Now, how you can select, how you can um, participate or present the probability, how types of they are, how many. Because see, these things will I'm randomly selecting 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.3 and 0. But all the sum of the, these five things will be 0. Oh, sorry, 1. In that way. Okay, so I am sending these things, and that's it for today because I think there will be another class from six seven thirty for I think different batch, not data analyst. So already sir, so call me to end it in seven thirty. So I think everyone uh, clear about it. Next day, uh, Friday, I will take these things also. And Saturday, I will take uh, for the project session. So, uh, next part, let's take what will be remaining. Okay, so, a little bit portion will be remaining. Shuffle and choice. Shuffle, choice and two things. Yes, two things is remaining. And then we will start binomial distribution. And... Uh, you guys, please practice it because more than practice, we have to regularly uh, discuss or regularly go through with the topics because in the statistics portion and probability portion, it's a little bit of theoretically part more. Okay. And if there will be a little bit confusion or any confusion, you can uh, write down next class or write down in the groups also or we can discuss it. It will be better. We can discuss it in the next class. Okay, so thank you for today. I think everyone uh, clear about it and 